Hi friends, and thanks for tuning in. Unless you've been living under a rock lately, you've surely heard of ChatGPT by now. Anybody can use it by going to chat.openai.com and basically have a conversation with this very intelligent chatbot. For example, we could say, explain ChatGPT in simple terms. And we'll get an answer. You can ask about pretty much any other thing under the sun and find out what you need to know. I'll admit I have some mixed feelings about this, but that is not the topic of this video. What I want to do here is show you some useful ways you can use this with AWS. Starting with the user data script for an EC2 instance. It seems like I need to do this all the time. Bootstrap my instance basically by giving it a script to run when it first launches. Here when I'm launching a new instance, if I scroll all the way down to advanced details, and then down to the user data section, Here's where I enter a script, usually to set up a web server and create a simple HTML page, just so I know everything's working. And this is kind of a pain to create from scratch. So let's see what ChatGPT can do for us. I'll say, okay, ChatGPT, write an AWS user data script to create and start an Apache web server, then create an index.html page that says hello world. Let's see what we get. And here you'll see it's actually writing the code for us, complete with very helpful comments. And then it also tells us how to use the script and more of what's going to happen behind the scenes. So pretty cool. Let's copy this and we'll go back to the EC2 console, paste this in. It looks like what I would normally type from scratch, but let's just launch the instance and we'll go see what we get when it's up. So I'll click on the instance. I'll give it a couple minutes to boot up and then we'll test out that web page. Okay, it's up and running. So let's go grab the public IPv4 address. I'll just copy this to my clipboard, open a new tab, and there's our hello world. Yay. So that's one way you might use ChatGPT just to make your life a little bit easier. Another way you might use this is to create a cloud formation template. So let me close out of this and we'll go to cloud formation and we'll create a new stack with new resources. Cloud formation, of course, is the infrastructure as code technology from AWS. So in code, you just specify the different resources you want and then AWS will spin those up for you. And creating the template can be a little bit tedious. So here again, we're going to get some help from ChatGPT. We'll say create an AWS CloudFormation template that creates a new security group. We need port 80 open for HTTP traffic. And then I specify the EC2 instance type, T2 micro. And then I did have to go look up the AMI ID just to make sure it was getting the right thing. And then we're also going to install a web server and create an index.html page that says hello from ChatGPT. So let's see what this gives us. I will speed this up and we'll take a look at the output when it's done. Okay, good stuff here. Let's scroll up and see what we got. So here's our CloudFormation template. It defaulted to a YAML format, but I think if you specify JSON, it would probably give you that format. I haven't tried it yet, but here's the template. I've played with this a couple of times and noticed a little bit of inconsistency between what I get. This one, for example, is missing the group description for the security group. But when I ran it previously, it did include that. So this is still just a research preview. You're probably going to see some things like that. But we're setting up the security group, setting up our instance, and then the user data script to install a web server and create our index.html page. Also, you get some helpful instructions down here about how to actually use this. So from the command line, you can say create stack and then pass in the template. What I'm going to do is just copy this code. I'll just paste it into a text file. We'll save it. ChatGPTTemplate.yaml. I am going to add the group description for the security group. And then let's come back into CloudFormation. And we'll say the template is ready. Let's upload that template. And then I'll just quickly go through the rest of the wizard here. Chat GPT stack. Defaults for everything else. And submit. 
So create in progress. Let's see how we do. All right, we created the security group. Currently creating the instance. If we come out and look at our instances, we've got one pending here. I'll give this a minute to boot up and then we'll just make sure that our web page and web server got set up correctly. All right, the instance is up and running. Let's go make sure that our web page is accessible. We'll copy the IP address. And there's our hello from ChatGPT. So pretty amazing. It was able to create that cloud formation template almost perfectly from the get-go. I'll definitely be playing with this more going forward. Let me know below in the comments if there's something specific you want to see, and I'll give it a try. Also check out my AWS playlist for other content that you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.